For those joining us uh, on the web, we're going to have uh, Dr. Dan Craviotto, the president of the uh, UPSA, up to recap a little bit of this morning's events and uh, talk about some of the issues. And uh, I'd like to toss something out. Uh, so we're doing a poll now on the web because we have that opportunity through uh, our sponsor, Merritt Hawkins. Um, are physician unions a good idea? Because certainly it's, it's been uh, the possibility to save the profession and uh, ruin the profession at the same time. So it's a very, very complicated and difficult issue. And I think uh, uh, Dr. Stuart Bussey did an excellent job of telling us about the history and, and having gone to medical school on the North Shore of Long Island myself, um, I had some experience with uh, you know, interns and residents who were unionized. And I did my further uh, training in New Jersey uh, and uh, Pennsylvania, and they were not unionized. So uh, do you have any thoughts on, uh, on, on unions in your own experience? Or have you had any experience? Yeah, I was just going to, sorry to interrupt. I was just going to share that. I don't have any particular experience in um, being involved in any way in unions. Um, I've read very little about the pros and cons about them. It, um, at first glance, it might act, it, it seems attractive for some things, collective bargaining, I suppose, and other things. And, and I'm all for anything that can unite physicians and, and have us all speak with one voice. So I guess from that standpoint, it's a pro. I, 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 as I said, I'm certainly not an expert in that field. Um, I think as we go forward with this, right, there, mm -hmm. A lot of this might change in real time, and who knows where we'll end up. But I'm all about promoting physician unity. I think that's a, a huge thing we need to do. And whether it'll be through physician unions or some other format, um, don't know. Right. Well, yeah. mid 1900s, you know, there was some uh, issues and rumblings about that, and I know that the federal government stepped on the American Medical Association fairly hard in word and deed to say, you will not become a union, there will not be a strike, that this, this will not happen. And, and I can understand the motivation behind it. However, you know, the threat was more regulation. And now we have, you know, in our minds, the most regulation we've ever seen, and certainly more is the common, it, it seems. So, um, Perhaps uh, the union strategy is a good strategy. Um, a lot of people would probably compare it to, say, the teachers' unions and things, which are, are positive in some ways, but potentially negative. You're forced to join. You're married to whatever they do. And if they say strike, you strike, whether you believe or you don't. Uh, also, you know, unions also have a large um, overhead to them. That, that has to be funded, like physician organizations or any other organization, or a hospital. I mean, I, I can't imagine uh, an organization that has more um, uh, administrators and, and more uh, uh, top heaviness than a hospital, perhaps, except maybe uh, a government entity. Yeah, and I agree with all of that. Um, it occurs to me, and, and I think I've heard uh, Dr. Armstrong speak to this, that you know, going forward with all of these things, we just need to be upbeat and positive. And I think that there won't be a one-size-fits-all solution. I, I imagine things as they go forward and we evolve, there will be pockets. So maybe there are places geographically where there are unions, and there might be other places where there's not. And we've, we've heard a lot about um, direct-to-patient care. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think it's a one-size-fits-all thing. I think, uh, and I think this, um, what is happening is that this, um, with all of the pressures, I don't know if I put pressures and stresses and on physicians, mm -hmm. I think it creates a real opportunity for creativity to imagine what might be possible. Um, and so, right, it's an opportunity and we'll have to see. Certainly. And um, you've heard, I've heard multiple times from different speakers here, listen, I don't have all the answers. I think that's a starting point to just admit we don't have all the answers, right? Yeah, and I, and I think you make an excellent point in that there might be unions in some places and not in other places. And, you know, you can have the right to work, potentially, and you can have uh, the right to a union also. And, and I think that it doesn't have to be a 100% solution either way. And different areas, different groups, different individuals may have different preferences to express. So I think that's, that's an excellent comment on that.
And I think that's probably a great place to move on to our next speaker. Thank you, Dr. Cravioto, for thank, again thank, joining us. Thank you, Craig. I appreciate it. And you know what? Thanks once again for moderating and being here. We really appreciate you. Oh, thank you. Okay. It's my privilege and honor to be here. Well, thank, thank you. you. Yep, my pleasure. Sure.